this is our next source assignment. Um, the electronic sources, you'll have to do this one twice. Okay, so the book we did um, in the library, you guys that are at home haven't been able to come to the school, this will be actually the first one that you do. Okay, so um, in the assignment, if you just follow the directions here like you're starting off from the first assignment when you actually created your paper, I'm talking to those that um, haven't been able to come to the library yet, just treat this as your first uh, assignment with the, the work cited, and then when you come back, then you can do the book source, because that's, you know, doing that with a physical book. Okay, so open up the paper document that you've been working with the entire assignment. I'm going to kind of demonstrate this as we go. Okay, so this should be in the same folder. It should be popping up up at the top. Okay, you guys probably have a whole lot fewer folders than I do. Okay, so I open that up. Um, create a new document in your research folder and label it Web Source 1. You don't have to have any kind of special formatting for this one. Okay, so I'm going back to Drive here. And I'm going to click New and just a doc. It doesn't have to be anything special, but Create and Share. Okay, and then remember you need to title it. Okay, Web Source 1. I'm going to erase that. This junk is. There we go. All right. <laughs> the other number two here. I guess I'm gonna have to renumber some of these. Okay. In another tab, open up the Bib Engine MyBib.com. I've got a bunch more tabs. Sorry about that. Okay. In yet another tab, search for your God or Hero. Okay. Making sure we find a credible source. Okay. Remember, no Wikipedia. I think I told you guys the story on why we can't do that. All right, so you can use the search bar most of the time with this. I'm, I'm just going to do that. I'm looking up Zeus. I'm going to go ahead and put Zeus and then Greek God. Sometimes that helps. Okay. First thing that's popping up here is Wikipedia. I don't want that one. Okay, the GreekMythology.com site is a good one. Um, and then the theoi.com is a good one. Okay, so I'm probably going to use those two. To be honest with you, we just had really good luck with these two websites. So that's why I'm going to use these. Okay, so I've got the site. I have already seen this one before because I've done this demo. But for you, kind of look through and see that it's got some stuff about Zeus. We don't want um, just a site that has a bunch of story stuff about um, your person, we want something that has a lot of information just about who it is that you're doing. So I'm doing Zeus. This is really, really good stuff, okay, for me. All right, so I'm good there. All right, what I'll need for this, when I click this Add Citation, I want to stay on the website. We did the book thing last time. Okay, I'm going to need the URL. Okay, so what a URL is is this stuff that's up here. If I just click on that and then copy it, I can use Command C or I can right click and copy it and then come back here and paste it. I can push Control V, okay, or just right click and, and do that. When you click search, it's going to find it. You have to click on it, okay, and if it doesn't find the author, okay, that's something that you might have to look for, okay. Most of the time, if it doesn't list the author up at the top, okay, it'll usually have something up here. It will sometimes list it down at the bottom okay and this site actually gives us a MLA style citation okay and for this I don't mind if you just copy and paste this but you need to make the formatting work okay but I'll show you both on this so this this is literally the MLA citation we could copy and paste this stuff if we want but it doesn't have an author okay so when I go back here, I didn't find one, so no, it does not have a web page author. Okay. So all the things that it has is good enough. Okay. Don't have to put the editors on there. Okay. Um, just as a general, both of these would work. What they give us on this one down at the bottom is just fine. What the Bib Engine gives us is just fine. 
Okay, so I click save on that. And I've got a pretty good list now. Okay, I want to copy this bib entry. And remember, I didn't close anything out. I'm going to go down to my works cited. And then I'm going to paste it. Okay, now that I've got a few of these, I just kind of lucked out. I have to make sure that I'm pasting these in alphabetical order and that I only have one space in between. Okay, so make sure it looks like this. Okay, I've got a book, a book, and then I've got this website. This second line is supposed to look like this. It's supposed to be indented over. Okay, so that that's, looks like it's supposed to. Okay, if it does this hyperlink thing, okay, um, just remove it. We don't want that blue stuff in there. Okay. All right, so the other thing that I'm doing here is I need to have all of the text, okay? I need to have all this text um, copied over to my page so that I don't have to keep coming back to this website, okay? I can control A once I get to the web page, then control C, and then I can go over to my web source document and literally just paste it by doing that or I can click control V it might take a minute okay it might take a minute to do this okay just because of all the pictures and stuff we don't really need all that all we're really worried about is having the text okay this will make it a whole lot easier when we do the actual research writing part of it okay all right so I've got the text I've got that saved it's I don't have to click anything because it saves automatically I've got my citation now the only thing I have to do is repeat this okay so when I repeat this I'm, I'm having two different sources for my web stuff okay um, so I'll do this, do this twice so technically I'll have two different documents that you create so just go back up to step one and then do it again the only difference being that you'll have a source two, okay or web source two, and, and everything else is the same okay if you guys have any questions, reach out me to reach out to, uh, by email or you know ask on the assignment. Don't doesn't matter on that. Um, but if if you need to rewind, kind of look how I did these things, um, and that should help. All right, see you guys later. Ah!